Hi everyone, this is Physics Gen 18 IELTS Excel paper. Let's start. Some of Rutherford's alpha scattering experiments used radium as a source of alpha particles. Which of the following would produce and by would be produced by alpha emission from radium? So this is an alpha emission. We have radium two to six eighty eight gives an alpha of two four plus another particle which would have when we add add these we will get this. So if we have two to two here and eighty six here. 2 to 2 plus 4 gives 2 to 6, 86 plus 2 gives 88. So the answer is C. Number 2, which of the following is not a lepton? So a lepton is something which is a fundamental particle. According to the physics book, there are, there are 6 leptons. Electron, electron neutrino, muon, muon, muon neutrino and tau tau neutrino so here the electron is a lepton neutrino is also a lepton the question remains is pion and positron here the positron is an antiparticle of an electron so this is a type of electron so this also is a lepton. So the remaining particle is the pion. So pion is not a lepton. Number three, a capacitor of capacitance C stores a charge Q when the potential difference across it is V. Which of the following expression is the energy stored on the capacitor? So this is a quite straightforward question. The correct equation is D. Number four. The photograph shows the track of a positron in a particle detector. There is a magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the track. Which of the following is not a correct statement? The energy of the positron is decreasing. This is a correct statement because um, this has an inward spiral due to the dec um, inward spiral and this inward spiral means it has a decrease in the velocity. Since we have f equals to mv square by r and uh, r equals to p by bq this remains constant since the radius is decreasing like this this radius is larger than this radius so since the radius is decreasing the momentum is decreasing and since we know that p equals to mv the decrease in momentum means the decrease in velocity and since the velocity is decreasing, we also know that Ke is equals to half mv squared. So velocity is decreasing. Here, the velocity is also decreasing, so the kinetic energy is decreasing. So this statement is true. Option B, the magnetic field acts into the page. Since the particle enters the picture from the left hand side, it's clear that the magnetic field will be acting out of the page. The positron is gaining mass. So in any movement, a particle does not have a change in mass. So this is a correct statement. The speed of the positron is decreasing 
as I have told earlier that R equals to P by BQ when the radius is decreasing P is decreasing P equals to MV when P is decreasing V is decreasing so this statement is also true number five the potential difference across the charge capacitor is V naught the capacitor discharges through a fixed resistor after a time equal to the time constant the Potential difference is reduced to V. Which of the following is the correct expression for V? So for this we know the formula V equals to V naught e to the power minus T by RC. This is the current voltage. This is the initial voltage. And the question says... Um, after a time equal to the time constant so this time is equal to time constant so v equals to v naught e to the power time is equal to time constant so minus t by t which would be v equals to v naught e to the power minus 1 so we have v equals to v naught by e this is the correct answer. Baryons and mesons are a type of particle which consists of quarks. Which of the root table shows a possible quark combination of a baryon and a meson? So baryon is a particle which has three quarks. It does not have any antiquark, but three quarks, for example, um, neutrons and protons and a meson is a particle which has two quarks and in in that it has one quark and one antiquark so one quark and one antiquark is this the antiquark is denoted as this line this is a quark and this is an antiquark and since baryons has three quarks, the answer is D. Which of the following is a unit of the permittivity of free space? So for this, we know the formula. It's given in the back of the question paper that F equals to K into Q1 into Q2 by R squared we make the k subject if r squared by q1 into q2 since q1 and q2 have the same unit we can write it as q squared and the value of k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 since we are dealing with the units, we ignore this part. So here we have 1 by epsilon 0 equals to fr square by q squared. Epsilon 0 would be q squared by fr squared. So epsilon 0 is q. Q is charge. And the unit for charge is Coulomb. So Coulomb squared divided by the um, unit of force is Newton. So Newton radius is the standard international unit for radius is meters. So it's meter squared. So the answer to number seven is B. Number 8. The following circuit is used to charge a capacitor. Which of the following pairs of graphs shows the variation of the current I in the resistor with time T and variation of charge stored on the capacitor with T? Okay.
so this question says it is a charging graph and it requires the current in the resistor and variation of charge okay so in the book it's given current of the capacitor the graph for the current in capacitor is this and since it's a resistor we know that in series circuit the current remains the same so the graph for the resistor and the capacitor would be the same so the for the current the graph would be this so the possible answers are this and this now charge the graph is given in the book that the charging graph is like this this is the graph so the answer is b number nine two charged spheres of equal mass are suspended with insulating thread of equal length one sphere has a charge of plus q and the other has a charge of plus 10 q which of the following shows the arrangement of the spheres when they're in equilibrium so this is a type of a trick question. So according to Newton's third law, the two objects will exert equal and opposite force. So whatever the charge is, the distance from the center will always be the same as I have told that this is according to Newton's third law so the answer is C number 10 a student is investigating how the magnetic flux through a coil varies with its angle in radian to a magnetic field which of the following gives the equivalent angle in radian for an angle of 40 degrees? So to convert angle in degrees to radians, we divide the number by 180 and multiply it with pi. So to convert 40 degrees, we divide 40 divided by 180 into pi. Let's check the answers. So this answer is not available here. So we need to make some changes. The pi is in the numerator here. So these two will would not be the answers. Either of these should be the answer. So if we try to man manipulate it two by two this equals to one so the actual value does not change pi multiplied by two is two pi two into 180 is 360 so the final answer is is the same this is a type of a trick question. If you are good at maths, you should be able to do it. So this was the MCQ of Gen 18 Physics Unit 4.